Many will have become somewhat familiar with the image of Li Wenliang in hospital, his face half covered by an oxygen mask. But I do not believe that many people are aware of the full story and how badly Chinese authorities botched their initial response to the novel coronavirus. It is my hope that by understanding the sad story of Li Wenliang, you will better understand the gravity of this viral crisis and the extent to which this whole thing could have been prevented in the first place. Li Wenliang was a 34-year-old physician at the heart of the coronavirus outbreak in Hubei province. On December 30th, 2019, Li took to the Chinese social media app WeChat to warn his friends of a potentially dangerous disease spreading at Wuhan Central Hospital. In his post titled, Seven Cases of Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome from the Hunan Seafood Wholesale Market, Wen Liang told his colleagues, Remind your family members and loved ones to be on alert. He did not intend to be a whistleblower. Far from it, he was simply worried about the safety and well-being of his friends and their loved ones. He reportedly even told others to be careful about who they showed the message to. Despite this, his post began to spread far and wide. On January 3rd, 2020, Li Wenliang, along with seven other internet users, were brought in by authorities. He was accused of spreading rumors and that he had, quote, severely disturbed the public order. Li was forced to sign a statement saying he would stop his illegal activities. But even after signing this statement, Wen Liang continued to make social media posts that challenged the information coming from Chinese officials. Later that month, chief epidemiologist at the Chinese Center for Disease Control and Prevention, Zhang Guang, signaled a change in tone, saying that instead of being punished, Wen Liang and the other rumor mongers should have been held in high esteem. Public anger began to grow as it became clear that Li Wenliang's rumors of a mysterious virus were proven to be true. Soon after, the Chinese Supreme Court issued a statement saying, It might have been a fortunate thing if the public had believed the rumor then and started to wear masks and carry out sanitation measures. In early January, Li had treated a glaucoma patient who later was found to have a lung infection. The woman had a family member who also developed a fever and fell ill. Wen Liang was convinced that this was proof of human-to-human -human transmission of the coronavirus. On January 10th, he developed a cough and a fever. His parents also fell ill during this time and had to be hospitalized. Li continued to make posts from the intensive care unit. Soon after, he tested positive for the novel coronavirus. On February 6, 2020, Posts flooded Chinese social media claiming that he had died, and despite initial denial of his death, it was later confirmed by authorities. He is survived by his son and pregnant wife. Now taken alone, this story shows clear negligence on the part of Wuhan authorities, but that is not all there is to this story. On January 1st, 2020, authorities from Hubei province destroyed samples taken from patients in Wuhan Central Hospital. Also. There are many more astute China watchers who would call into question the official story of the death of Li Wenliang. Many people believe he may have died from injuries related to his imprisonment at the hands of Hubei province officials. All theories put aside, the decision of Li Wenliang to warn his medical student colleagues should have been met with praise but instead was punished by local Chinese officials. Had his warnings been heeded, many lives could have been saved and many of China's own citizens agree. After the announcement of Li Wenliang's death, he was heralded as a kind of reluctant martyr, a man who only wished to warn his colleagues and keep them safe. Instead of his warnings being taken seriously, he was punished and labeled as a criminal spreading lies. As public anger within China grows, his picture is being shared all over the world. Today, the famous image of him has become a symbol of truth-telling in the face of despotism.
Check the descriptions for links that help support this channel and help me make more content like this. Thanks for watching.